well done today four winners fabulous day two winners yesterday uh, we start off with the four-year-old for colin uh, routine excellence i know he's meant to run a couple of times but ground wasn't ideal for him um nice horse very impressive today yeah he was very good they have um, a lovely moving horse so he was in a couple of places there which was really deep ground and we just thought that it didn't really suit him maybe he probably would have been okay but um yeah uh, craig casey rides him out every day um and you see Craig was here today. Yeah, uh, Craig told yeah. me beforehand this yeah. lad will uh, win. We would have been very disappointed if he had got bet to be honest with you. Okay. He done very well. It was a messy kind of a race. Uh, things didn't really go that smooth but uh, look he came out on top and he, he showed his talent so hopefully he, um, he, he'll be a lovely horse there. Um, I'd say he'd probably go to the sales now and things like that. Uh, you followed up with a quick double then with Milan Edge for Jim Coffey who's renowned as an, a big owner in Paul and James Nolan's. Um, she was having her first run as well and she was good. Yeah, definitely. She was very impressive there. She went to the last deck on the bridle and just popped it lovely and um, quickened away well. Um, yeah, it's, it's great to ride a winner for Jim. Um, I brought a winner from before and uh, it's, great, it's a great man to be in with. Um, look, she she uh, she was a nice filly as a as a four-year-old filly and she just was a bit weak and just needed a bit of time. Yeah, going forward, look, oh, she's a nice filly and done everything right on the day, yeah. Good, and then uh, you made it a treble then in the open for Gordon Elliott, mighty stowaway, Philip Reynolds horse. Don't think he'll ride a much easier winner than that. Um, great horse to, to ride. Yeah, Jesus, absolutely, to get on a horse like him there. He, he jumped exceptional. Jesus, I was, I, I, I thought I was 16 again going around there. <laughs> he was absolutely exception, exceptional. Foot perfect everywhere. Just jumped off and went a nice, good, good strong pace. And uh, when you're riding for the legs of Garden Elliot, uh, you don't be worried about fitness or anything like that. So it was great to get to get a, to get a leg over on him. I'm sure we'll be seeing him a lot more throughout the season in those races. And you followed up in the last race, the six-year-old and upwards Geldens maiden, Houston, Texas, who had a bit of place for him for Colin, and uh, he fought out a good finish there with uh, Sean Doyle's horse in the end. Yeah, um, delighted to see this old horse get his head in front because he's probably been unlucky a couple of days. Um, if you've seen him as you see yourself, he's about 17, Very big. 17 too. So you'll, you'll understand why he took so much time uh, to come to hand. So definitely a uh, big, big honest stay in Chester, that's what he is. And I'd, I'd imagine uh, Colin will probably, the business that we're in, we'll probably just keep moving and, and try, I'll try selling. You're on the notes. third race, the five row Geldens maiden, James Murphy. Well done, James. Golden Rock flew up on the outsides and, and got up on the dying strides. Yeah, it was great now. I uh, they went for us, got up out in front, and I kind of took my time a bit. I got caught a few times, scooped the home straight, but luckily got there in the end, he had a good turn of foot to quicken away after the last. It's a long three miles today, and what I mean by that is you're at the very outside compared to other days when it's here, yeah. so um, that suited you. The old bends were a small bit tight when you were wide, and I kind of took my time, and I was came around the inside, and I followed Barry and Neil around the inside, coming down around the last bend, and, and I got caught then, he, he got away, and I got, I got caught around the bend, and luckily I got out, and Good. And that's your fourth winner now, James? My fourth winner, yeah. I've had a winner in the last three seasons and, and that's, uh, hopefully now we'll continue. And you're based with Terence O'Brien? I'm with Terence O'Brien four days and I got Pat Collins, I got uh, Paddy Larry, a few local lads around tip away. My uh, father's kinda father's spent the young horses in this year now and he's keeping me busy at home. And you might ride a few more now for Paul Cashman after that's winning right. on the horse Ho today? Hopefully now. Michael O'Sullivan usually rides most of the horses. If I could pick up the spares to be great. That's good. Well done today. Well, O'Brien, winning rider of the mares, winners of one race. Well done, Owen. Um, probably a fortunate winner in the end, but your name in the game is jumping and, and your mare done that. Yeah, exactly. To be fair, uh, Keith and my mare there was her experience. She, she's a real battle-hardened mare. You know, definitely more experience than the mare in front of her and she fell. But uh, look, to be fair, my one was winning a decent race. I don't know if maybe not have caught her, but she was galloping, galloping strong at the time as well. So she deserved it. And um, I'd imagine she'll go for another one of these, another winner's yeah, race? Yeah, i she'll be kept to something similar for another go. Um, sure, after winning today, she's sure to be competitive in another one. Um, in fairness to Jason, he had a right on the day. He was hoping, hoping she'd be banging there and he was right, so it was good. That's good, so you finished for the day? Yeah, yeah now be the day. Well done today. Ball, ball. Handler of Sophia's Castle, uh, Jason O'Reilly. Well done, Jason. Long road up from Bandon today and uh, it's nice to get a winner. Yeah, thanks. She was a long road, but she was, it was well worth it. Uh, she ran amongst Grange up here um, a couple of weeks ago and um, she, yeah. she's improved a lot since that run. She's a mare that she takes a good bit of work. Okay. And, um, she's probably short to school in rest and grass gallop. And that day was just the ground was just a bit too sharp for her. Yeah, it was she's quick that day. Up. And I actually luckily got her to drum a hand last Saturday as well. So oh, very good. I knew she'd be spot on today. That's good. And how many horses have you in training? Um, five at the moment. 
and a couple of free training as well. Good. So you're quite busy enough doing them for yourself yeah. then? Yeah, and the ride out for James Delay in the morning. So this is your very busy, busy for the day. Yeah. That's good. And uh, what are the five that you have? Any four year olds or what have you left around? Yeah, I have a nice Christ team four year old. Okay. Um, you run soon? I'd say possibly. He did a run this side of Christmas that I called off for a five year old. Good. Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to him now. And we have a six year old get him here and there. So yeah. lucky last year she finished second. Okay. Um in Toratola. Right. She goes next week hopefully. Okay, good. So, and uh, as Owen mentioned earlier there, this mare will probably go for another winner's race now after today. Yeah, probably yeah. Down the road she probably goes to the track. Good. Listen, well done today and best luck in the future. Yeah, alright, thanks.